What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're going to be checking out these more rides step above RV steps on our 2018 Jayco J Flight travel trailer. So let's check out these standard steps that are on there from the factory. You can see they move quite a bit when you're hopping up and down on them. Walking inside and out, if you had stuff in your hand that had more weight. Not the sturdiest thing, you can see how much they move. I definitely will like the more rides better because when we get those into place, the steps are going to be wider and it's going to be planted on the ground so you won't have that initial bounce when you go to step on and off of it. Now we're going to do the beverage test. I've got a bottle of water right here. I'm going to walk up and down the steps and show you how much bounce there is. That water's probably not going to stay there. Let's just go ahead and put the cap on and then try it. You see, that's me kind of stomping on it there. Let's just try normal. quite a bit of movement. Part two of the beverage test, let's see how much it disturbs it with these steps when I walk up and down. You can see it still moves the water but the bottle isn't going anywhere. These steps are going to go over and replace your existing RV steps that probably move a lot when you step on them to get in to your travel trailer or when you're leaving your travel trailer. These are going to be a far sturdier step because it makes ground contact here at the bottom. The feet slide down. So it's not just free hanging when you step on it. It's pushing up against the ground. So that adds extra stability when you're going up and back down the steps. Stable steps are pretty important for a number of reasons. Just walking in and out, you want to be able to do that safely, especially if you don't have a rail on there. You want to make sure that the steps aren't moving underneath that as you're trying to run down or run up them. Now, another thing would be if people are sleeping, you don't want to wake anybody up. So if you're an early riser, you get up before everybody else, you're going to exit the trailer. You don't want to wake everybody up by having the trailer move back and forth when you step in or outside. Same thing with night owls like me. I stay up really late out by the campfire and then come in super late don't want to wake anybody up when i'm trying to walk up the steps quietly another great thing about these steps is how wide they are i don't have to worry about missing one as easily as you do with some of the two steps approaches you can see most of my foot fits on there on each step so i can trust that step as i'm coming up in here or leaving too along with aluminum steps they have grip tape at the end it's going to help you even on those rainy days there's a little bit of water on steps you don't have to worry about slipping on straight up aluminum it's also got grooves in here to help grab when you step on it there with your shoes there's also a grip strip here at the top so even when you're stepping up off the step and into your trailer you have some grip here storage is also very simple you just lift it up and it being aluminum steps it's not really that heavy it just goes into place you can turn the handle it clips in you got these two strikers that catch on the door frame so it just stays right there when you fold them up so when you're going to travel it's that easy just to uh, you don't have to worry about shifting to them the right way to get them in this compartment underneath anymore just goes up and stays in place you see i can pull on it here it's not going to come back out just as easy to set up you're going to take this lever turn it that brings in the strikers so you can bring the steps down it's got a built-in handle right here underneath the step. I like that because I don't have to worry about just grabbing the step in some random spot. Not that that's hard or anything, but I know the handle's here. That's what I'm supposed to use. So we bring it down all the way to the ground, and you see how it kind of hangs there for a second. What we're gonna do is come here on the back side. Once we get the steps where we want them, you can push it on this silver tab. It's gonna release this foot. So I'll hold it with that one. Bring that foot down until it makes contact with the ground and it'll click into place so I'll do the same thing on the other side i'm going to push on the silver tab it's going to drop the foot down into place push down and you see that it's not moving up on its own and your steps are set up it's attached to the floor of your travel trailer we did have to remove the threshold we have screws holding in the hinges and once those are installed it's going to be in place the other thing that's nice is that you can remove the steps if need be you don't have to run all of those screws out you have these pins that you can pull out just in case for whatever reason you need clearance maybe you're moving some furniture in and this lip is just a little bit more than you need to try and fit something through the door you can remove this just with those pins removed turn that latch and just lift the steps up and out overall when it comes to the install it's not that bad it didn't take me that long to do it the instructions are easy to follow but go ahead and follow me first thing we want to do is remove our transition strip here in the door frame I'm going to come here with a screwdriver, 
you can use a power tool if you want. We'll just back these out. Ours is going to have two screws, so remove the first one. We'll come back here and get rid of the second one. Now we'll set this aside. I'm going to clean up this area next. Next thing you need to look at is what kind of hinge you have on your steps. It says the instructions have two different hinges, and it depends on which hinge you have, what instructions you follow. So we have hinge type two because we have the notch cut out, and the screw hole is exposed right here and it's the thinner bracket. So if you look at in the instructions, you'll easily be able to tell which one's which. So we're gonna go with hinge type two and follow those instructions. So it wants us to set the steps into place and they want this portion of the step to push up against the threshold right here. They don't want any gaps in there. So we're gonna set it into place. I kick the legs out on the bottom to help stabilize it for me as I hold it up there and try and get it centered. So it looks like we're pushed in as good as we're gonna go there. So now I'll worry about the side to side. So I'm going to get a measuring tape and try and get it as centered as possible. I'm looking for right around an inch in between this portion of the door frame and the step itself. We've got one inch on that side and close to an inch. So it looks like I'll have to move it around just a little bit. With the steps in place and push against the threshold, we're going to add one screw to each side of the brackets to hold it in place. I'm going to start over here and run this one in. And we're going to do that on both sides. It seemed to help to use a square bit versus a sharp bit because it seemed like it would destroy the top of the screw as we were putting it in there. So just a heads up, I would get a square bit. It's going to make it a lot easier. This is something we had to do on ours. You might not have the same door on yours to clear the hinges. We loosen these bolts and these here, shifted this over just enough so it clears. I'll show you right here. No more issues with clearance. So now it's gonna lower much easier. Now before we fasten the rest of the screws in place, let's make sure that everything fits right. So I'm gonna lower the steps and we're gonna close the screen door and the front door to make sure it clears it. So here's the screen door. There's a little bit of friction down there, but not too bad. Now let's try the main door. Seems like it does make contact. We found out that we can't close the door because the back of the steps are hitting the old steps. So an easy fix is remove the steps. On ours, there's gonna be two bolts on each side we need to remove, and then we can lower them out of the way. So I'm just gonna come here with my ratchet and loosen up these bolts. And with that bolt removed, we can lower our steps and get them out of the way. Let's test it again with the old steps removed. Screen door first. Again, there wasn't really issues with that in the first time. Disconnect the door. Looks like it closes just fine. Let's fold the steps up and add in our other screws. Now that we know that everything works, we're gonna come here to our hinges and mount them the rest of the way. With all of our screws put in, the hinges, let's lower the steps and test them out. So we got set up so that the feet are hitting the ground. They feel really good, real stable. Overall, not too bad to install. Didn't take me that long. There was just a few things that kind of got in the way, but we figured it out, it's very simple. I like how quick it went to put those on there and even remove the old steps. These are far more stable than the old ones. I really like how I can trust them walking up and down. They don't shake the whole camper either when I'm using it. And there's no vibration in it because it's making that ground contact. Plus the steps are a little bit wider too. So that definitely helps. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.